working by Christie oh. in the triple oh. and puts it up and down for two. Kobe Bryant. Kobe again. Christie is on him. Bryant will fire the two. Booked it. Got it. Foul on the play. Kobe is giving them the business. He is literally taking this game over. Here's Bryant. Oh, got the screen. Takes it in. The hammer. Kobe right oh, over. Look at that. And Kobe Bryant slamming the door on Sacramento with that play there in a 48.16 rebound performance. Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant, the dominant forces in this game. Unstoppable in the playoffs. Plowing through the Blazers. Up 3-0 on the Kings. Can anyone stop the Lakers? Sacramento, California, the state capital in the background on this incredible May afternoon. And we're inside a very loud Arco Arena for the game four starting lineups. Here's the Kings public address announcer, Scott Moe. Let's meet the visiting team, the Los Angeles Lakers. At four, 6'10", from Clemson, number 54, Horace Grant. At four, six seven from North Carolina, number 17, Rick Fox. At guard, 6 1 from Arkansas Little Rock, number two, Derek Fisher. At guard, 6'6", six, six, from Lower Marion High School. Number eight, Kobe Bryant. At center, seven, one, from Louisiana State. Number 34, Shaquille O'Neal. The head coach of the Lakers is Phil Jackson. And now, let's meet the starting crowd for your Sacramento Kings. Your 6-1 guard from Marshall, number 55, Jason Williams. A 6'6 six, six guard from Pepperdine, number 13, Doug Christie. A 6'10 forward from Serbia, number 16, Peja Stojakovic. From Serbia, Montenegro, 7-1, your center, number 21, Vlade Divas. At four, 6-10, from Michigan, number four. as we're coming to you from a rockin' Arco Arena in Sacramento. The home fans want to see this series extended. The Lakers trying to complete the sweep of the game. With Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello, this is Kevin Harlan. The duo of Shaq and Kobe Mike looking to close this round out. Kobe and Shaq combining for over 65 points per game in this series. Torching the Kings. Sacramento coach Rick Adelman has no answer. Then again, no one in the NBA does. So Clark, that is the question. Who can stop Shaq and Kobe in these defending champion Lakers? Well, partner, 14 straight wins for L.A. They haven't lost in over a month. The role players have been huge as well. Rick Fox defensively. Horace Grant on the glass, Derek Fisher orchestrating and running the point. 
L.A. running on all cylinders. System, go. With the defending NBA champion Lakers, it's Derek Fisher and the great Kobe Bryant in the backcourt. Defensive specialist, Rick Fox. The experienced Horace Grant at the forward. And the big man in the middle, Shaquille O'Neal. He is torching Sacramento in this series. And for the three-seeded king, Jason Williams running the point. Joined by Sacramento stopper, Doug Christie at the two. Sharpshooter, Pacia Stiakovich is the small forward. And the Kings all-star, Chris Webber and Vladi Divac round out their five. The Lakers up in this best of seven series, three games to none. Los Angeles winning games one and two in Staples Center. Shaq was dominant in each win. And less than 48 hours ago here in Sacramento, Kobe stealing the show on a 103-81 win for the Lakers. Sacramento really struggling from the floor in this series. Yes. Well, the big story in this one, as we told you, Kobe Bryant flying home between games three and four. And for the inside scoop, let's go to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Kobe leaving the team for personal matters. Immediately after game three, he flies privately back home to Los Angeles. Bryant was not his normal bubbly self today. He could take that out on the Kings. Kevin? Hey, Mike. Kobe is always, David, under the microscope tonight. And Mike, remember, Chris Webber is gutting it out tonight, playing on two, not one, two, sprained ankle. He's been nowhere close to 100% this series. Kudos to C. Webb for not complaining about it. Two on the clock. A three off for the Kings. They only made one triple in all of game three. And Clark, just an incredible series so far for Shaquille O'Neal. How about this, Kevin? Averaging 36 and 20 so far. The Kings absolutely have no answer for it. Coach, fresh off a career playoff high of 36 points. Kobe Bryant looking for another big game here in Sacramento. Doug Christie has the assignment, and what a difficult one that is. Kobe's cooking. Dating back to the regular season, nine straight games with more than 20 points. Now here's Kobe after the miss from Chris Webber. Here's Kobe. Great D that time from Stiakovich. Not a strong finish there, resulting in a rare miss from him. A pass to Christie. Back to Williams. the defense. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Kobe against Williams. Here's Bryant. Happy to see that one go in. Four second make and five attempts. Really an expert finisher. Let Bryant get this close, and it's more or less over. I think agree the biggest storyline for the Sacramento Kings is this Chris Webber's last game as a king. He's a free agent. Will he be signed? Will Chris return? Most reports are that he's gone. And that'd be a shame. The Kings have built something. They have a really bright future. It's been the focus for this franchise. Here's Fisher. The Kings getting the button. Outside, Fox. Fisher, the pass to Fox. Here's Kobe. Divac grabs the board. And this is how you defend a player like him. Nice job contesting without fouling. That top Weber. Teardrop shot. Mike gets off for Weber right there. The Lakers have done a nice job defending him this series. It's been a team effort, but the veteran Horace Grant has done a great Kobe job on it. And Kobe embraces the physicality of the game. Loves finishing on tough defense. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Grant against Weber. Shoots over Grant. Here's Christie. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. This is an extremely loud arena. Those cowbells adding to the noise. Phil Jackson is actually wearing earplugs. He famously called Sacramento a cow town. And the fans brought out the bell. I tell you what, Rick.